you know the love was a lot and i want to say thank you to every single person who remembered murayo ahunaya and remember to wish her a happy birthday may god bless you from the bottom of my heart may he keep causing us to celebrate one another may he keep adding to our years Maybe one of these days I'm going to have a global gathering for all of us and we're going to celebrate and eat and eat and be happy. You know, I'm so thankful. I you don't know how grateful I am. Thank you. Thank you so much. Drum roll, please. You are welcome and welcome and welcome back to my channel today is a very special episode because well it was it is being filmed on my birthday yay so my birthday was on tuesday because this video is going to come out on friday and yeah i just wanted to share um my thoughts on birthdays celebrations and faith because this is a month of faith so we're relating everything in one way or the other to faith amen amen so first of all happy birthday to every person that was born or that is born in the month of july you're my birthday partners and babies specifically to those that were born on the 14th of july happy 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 belated birthday may god continue to bless you keep you cause his face to shine upon you be merciful towards you and shine his grace on you amen so what are we going to be talking about today i'm going to be talking about um celebrations and specifically birthdays in general and how my perception or my perspective about it has changed over time okay are you guys ready sit down relax and let us just together so what is your own ideal way to spend <coughs> your birthday? Sorry, my sister is cooking, so it's getting <coughs> into my throat. We're going to be, um, yeah, we're going to have a few guests and the party's about to start rolling actually. So I kind of drag myself from all the preparations just to be with you. Amen. But I will show you some clippings by the grace of God of all that is happening today in snippets and bits mm -hmm. yeah so back to what we were saying how is your how do you celebrate your birthday or what is your ideal way to celebrate your own birthday so for me i have like five specific methods like five i think one of our guests are here so if you're hearing ding ding dong bells people coming in don't be bothered don't be moved okay um so one of the ways <clears throat> that I celebrate my birthday, before I, before I go into the ways that I celebrate my birthday, birthdays for me before were very overwhelming days. Like, I didn't like birthdays. I didn't like, I'm not a person that is all out. Even though I like to celebrate people, I enjoy people, other people's birthdays, shouting about other people, but I don't find, I find it weird that I don't enjoy it for my own self. Is there anybody else like that? You know, I, I'm just confused about what am I supposed to do today? Am I supposed to receive all the love? Or am I supposed to... I don't know. I don't know how to react. And, you know, it's funny enough, even when I expected people that, you know, my friends or my loved ones to reach out to me and they didn't, it used to pain me so much. So, birthdays were just a turbulent time for me. If I didn't have enough money to celebrate it, wahala. If, you know, just, they were just a turbulent time. But over time, you know, in recent times especially, I realized that it is really, really, really a celebration of life. Like, I came to understand the essence of birthdays, you know, and celebrations in general. And being the Yoruba girl that I am, and a Christian, you know, Israelites like to celebrate. I will be sharing with you guys why your birthdays, what celebrating, don't mind that why your birthday is worth celebrating and why um how i celebrate my own birthday five simple ways amen okay so first thing that i do to celebrate my birthday is to praise god so i woke up or 
before I even woke up, before I went to bed last night, you know, I slept around 1.30. My other family members had gone to bed. I took out some time, you know, a little bit over half an hour to just praise God for life. And I began to count, I'm 28 now. You know, I began to start from year one and to just sing love songs, worship songs to him year one year two year three year four year five you know if i could remember anything significant about any of those years i would thank him but if i couldn't which most of them you know i couldn't really place words or actions or events into them i would just say god i thank you because you know what happened in this year and you are still in charge of the future and i will link it to scriptures just give me a minute <clears throat> amen and then you know the second thing that i do is to when I wake up in the morning, yes, I may praise God, but I've already done most of the praise and thanks and prayers for the day, you know, earlier in the day. So the next thing I do is that when I wake up, I know that phone calls. So I kind of put my phone on silent. So sorry to anybody that tried to reach me early hours of my birthday. I probably might have slept past two or past three. So I'll wake up maybe seven, eight, you know. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm not exactly going anywhere. So, if I was going to walk, oh yeah, I wake up earlier, but I still like some time to myself, you know, kind of a little bit in the morning. So I'll put my phone on silent, even though the phone will be ringing, so I could re return the calls. But then again, the next thing I do is to really be present in the moment, to really appreciate everybody that appreciates me, to receive all the energy and all the love and then to give it back in my own way so i just reply messages as, as, as soon as i can you know reply phone calls and if i have to switch off to be in the moment when other like yeah, people physically present then i will do that i will do whatever I, I need to be in the moment of that birthday you know to be grateful for every second i mean the first point of gratitude was to god now i'm grateful to every single person that shows me love and i try not to focus on like before on oh maybe a family or a friend that i would have expected um wishes from but if you know the funny part is that now self i'm overwhelmed by the amount of love that i receive and i'm receiving like anyways moving on be be present be in the moment enjoy every moment of your day because it is your day just enjoy the wishes enjoy the you know really take it all in and then as much as you can give out to then the third thing that i do is to yeah to give back either to family or to friends like i said not in replying messages or replying phone calls but Maybe to do a mini celebration, like we're going to do share food, wine, drinks to a few friends that are, re are really close or nearby at the moment because I, I have quite a number of friends. Or to just go to like an orphanage or to go to, to celebrate in church or you know or to find some less um, fortunate people and to just celebrate with them because i mean life is beautiful and life is worth living and sharing and you know being kind being good being all those things just positive energy on your birthday it is worth it the fourth thing that i do is to receive gifts and to receive compliments and all those things from those that are really close to me like maybe like two weeks or so before the best day you know i'm already saying hmm. you guys know my birthday is coming up or something like that just hinting them you know i'm not going to assume that they know what to do for me or what before i used to i don't know whether it's a female thing you just want people to surprise you you want them to know that it's your birthday Except I'm not really expecting to do much and I don't really place a lot of pressure on people generally. I will not um, make a fuss about it. But if you're someone like my husband, that I know that you, know, you have to make some effort, I'll say, hmm, baby, my birthday is coming, though, you know. I don't just expect 
people to know i don't expect you to know if you're close to me and i want you to celebrate with me i'll just hint you oh my birthday is around the corner nothing serious but just put it out you know and if you expect something from somebody expect you receive something for somebody you know stylishly say it's not like you just I, ju I don't just expect like to be surprised or anything like that and the final and uh, fifth thing that I do on my birthday is pamper myself <laughs> look good eat good wear good smell good just feel good I don't know it's my birthday it's a new day it's a new dawn it's a new season it's a new time you know just dress up look pretty eat pretty eat plenty if i need to i've already done a scrub this morning just feel by myself not what other people are doing for me just by myself be good to myself you know say nice things to myself look at myself in the mirror have myself laugh 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 amen so i've already stated the five things that i do i hope um you guys can relate and if you if there's more that you do let me know what you do okay so yeah this very birthday hmm i want to use this opportunity to say a big thank you to everybody who celebrated with me honestly it's not imposter syndrome and i know some people say oh you deserve all the love i do not feel like i deserve that much love or the attention or i just i'm just very appreciative because i don't know i'm i'm just so thankful for all the messages i received i was almost at the point of tears you know i even wrote on one of the groups that i go back with the love when they shower me <laughs> i go back you know the love was a lot and i want to say thank you to every single person who remembered murayo ahunaya and remember to wish her a happy birthday may god bless you from the bottom of my heart may he keep causing us to celebrate one another may he keep adding to our years maybe one of these days i'm going to have a global gathering for all of us and we're going to celebrate and eat and eat and be happy you know i'm so thankful i you don't know how grateful i am thank you thank you so much okay having said that oh one last thing that i do on my birthday is forgive and seek forgiveness so let me even use this opportunity to do that so on my birthday i stylishly <laughs> reach out or if one of the persons that maybe i'm offended or has offended me reaches out i really really go all out express love you know i just there's just so much about my birth the day itself that i i, I tag as significance another life another year it's raining huh. Woo, it always rains on my birthday are you like that july babies i think it's common with us rain always finds a way to shower manifest itself on our birthday so it's raining <laughs> right now and it will soon get really loud anyways back, 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 back to this before time goes I told you guys I'm going to share birthday scriptures with you or scriptures that show you the reason why you know God is happy with you celebrating your birthday kind of or you should just be grateful for this day. My first and most important birthday scripture is Psalms 139. Amen. Specifically 5, 13 to 17 or 18 and then 23 down to 24. So I'll read it very briefly. It says, You hem me in behind and before, and you lay your hand upon me. For you created my most, my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. And your works are wonderful. I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place, when I was woven together in the depths of the earth. Wow. Your days saw my unformed, your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. I think there's a translation that says, I think it's the Passion Translation, my life was or is already in your archives. Like, 
my 28th year my current year my 29th year you know god has everything written and detailed you know how precious are your thoughts towards me oh god how vast is the sum of them were i to count them they would have numbered the grains of sand when i awake i am still with you even if i die i'm still with you god but that's not my portion till 120. <laughs> search me god and know my heart test me and know my anxious thoughts see if there's any offensive way in me and lead me in the way everlasting amen i really love that scripture it just kind of encapsulates my reason to be thankful because god formed me god knew me he's my daddy actually he's the one that needs me in my mom's womb made me perfect made me this beautiful made me talented brought all the beautiful gifts of family and friends into my life brought all the opportunities into my life gave me what i have today and is taking me further so there's so much to be grateful for Jeremiah 29 11 is another one that I really like. It says, For I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. I really like that one. It's talking about how God has plans already for my life. So I really need not be worried. No matter what is happening right now. No matter what I can see and what I cannot see. God is in control and I give him absolute authority, like he's in charge. I'm at peace. And finally, there are a lot more Ephesians 2 verse 10. For where God tangy work created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. All the scriptures kind of just point to how God already is in charge. Like there's so much that we want to which was what was some things that cost me anxiety on my birthday i'm like oh see what my mates have achieved i've not achieved this thing at this particular age imagine you know? <laughs> or so what am i going to do this year oh what is in store for me this year oh my god i'm this particular age oh my god i'm getting older you know irrelevant discussions in the scheme of things if i really just handed my life over to god and be grateful and full of gratitude yeah so i think i've come to the end of this video i think i've spent enough time with you let me go back into the party i will put in few clips from the party let me go back to preparing for them you know again thank you for your beautiful wishes we will see you again in the next two weeks much love your girl mariah Abnaya. bye Yeah, but she... Yeah, yeah, yeah.